Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. He is with us in the midst of trouble. And this is what he wants us to do. And this is the name of this broadcast this morning. Praise in the midst of trouble. You know what? It so helps as well in a hard situation is to praise the Lord. To thank the Lord in the midst of trouble. You know, yesterday I was starting to get down about things and the Lord just put it in my heart to just thank me. Just thank me for everything. And I began to thank Him for everything. The fact that I can and am able to brush my hair. That I'm able to do laundry. That I'm able to do these different things and thanking the Lord for everything. 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 And I began to feel a lifting in my spirit when I did that. Even though you might not feel like doing it. Just begin doing it. And it will lift you out of those distressing times in the spirit. Praise. Father, I pray that this message will bring forth what you want to bring forth today. By your Holy Spirit. By your name, Lord. Help us know what you're telling us to do in this hour. And that's praise in the midst of the storm. Hallelujah. Let's go to Hebrews 13, 15. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. Did you hear that? By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. And that word sacrifice in that verse, Hebrews thirteen fifteen means, and praise means, a thank offering. When we sacrifice up to the Lord, we're giving up to the Lord. Praise unto him, no matter how we feel, no matter what's going on. We're thanking him. The sacrifice of praise to God. Which we should offer up to God continually. In this are included all adoration and prayer. As well as thanksgiving. This is the fruit of our lips. This should be the fruit of our lips. We must speak forth the praises of God from unfeigned lips. And this must be offered only to God, not to angels, nor saints, nor any creature, but to the name of God alone. Praise is only due to God. Okay? This devotional today. Praise in the Midst of Trouble by William G. Garnett. Once again, one of those old-time people there of God. A city missionary stumbled through the dirt of a dark entry, heard a voice say, Who's there, honey? Striking a match, he caught a vision of earthly want and suffering of saintly trust and peace, cut in ebony, calm appealing eyes set amid the wrinkles of a pinched black face that lay on a tattered bed. It was a bitter night in February and she had no fire, no fuel, or no light. She had had no supper, no dinner, or no breakfast. She seemed to have nothing at all but rheumatism and faith in God. 
one could not well be more completely exiled from all pleasantness of circumstances, this little woman. Yet the favorite song of this old creature ran, Nobody knows the trouble I see. Nobody knows but Jesus. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Sing glory, hallelujah. Can you imagine her singing in the night? Didn't have a light. Hadn't had anything to eat. But she had Jesus and faith in Jesus and in his word. Sometimes I'm up. She continued to sing and sometimes I'm down. Sometimes I'm level on the ground. Sometimes the glory shines around. And I'm going to sing glory. Hallelujah. Now imagine this little old woman in the dark of her little place. By the world's standard, she was without. But she had something glorious, faith in the one and only, the Lord Jesus Christ. And so it went on. Nobody knows the work I does. Nobody knows the griefs I has. The constant refrain being the glory, hallelujah, until the last verse rose. Nobody knows the joys I has. Nobody knows but Jesus. Oh, troubled on every side, yet not distressed, perplexed but not in despair, oh persecuted but not forsaken, cast down but not destroyed. It takes great Bible words to tell the cheer of that old Negro auntie. Remember Luther on his sick bed? Between his groans, he managed to preach on this wise. These pains and trouble here are like the type which the printers set. As they look now, we have to read them backwards, and they seem to have no sense or meaning in them. But up yonder, when the Lord God prints us off in the life to come, we shall find they make brave reading. Now, you know a printing press, and they have to put all the types in there and everything, and it looks backwards. makes no sense. But, hey, when they print that deal off, it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? You can read it then. You can understand it then. Only we do not need to wait till then. Remember Paul walking the hurricane deck amid a boiling sea? Bidding the frightened crew be of good cheer. Luther and the old Negro Auntie, all of them human sunflowers. Human sunflowers. Praising in the night. Praising without. Praising in distress. Praising in pain. Let us keep this message close to our heart today. And remember to offer up a sacrifice of praise today. No matter what you're going through, no matter how you feel, in Jesus' name, hallelujah.